How to Live Life Well, a weekly guide to getting this life thing right by following tips from God. Tip seven, don't covet. Let's head on over to the dictionary. Now Webster defines covet as to desire what belongs to another inordinately or culpably, if it's used as a transitive verb. Now, when the word is used as an intransitive verb, the definition is, quote, to feel inordinate desire for what belongs to another, unquote. Now, I have to admit, I don't actually know the difference between a transitive verb and an intransitive verb, but I do understand the definition of the word covet, which brings us to our tip for this week. Here's what God said in the Ten Commandments. You shall not covet your neighbor's house. You shall not covet your neighbor's wife, or his male servant, or his female servant, or his ox, or his donkey, or anything that is your neighbor's. Exodus 20, verse 17. It seems that throughout human history, people have wanted what other people possessed. And sometimes they even took what others had because... Well, because they wanted it. Now, coveting has led to broken families, financial losses, even to wars. God has made it clear that coveting what others have is not good. Now, when Jesus was teaching a group of people, one of the men in the crowd asked Jesus to tell his brother to share the inheritance with him. Seems like a simple request, but it's interesting to note Jesus's response. Take care and be on your guard against all covetousness, for one's life does not consist in the abundance of his possessions. Luke chapter 12, verse 15. Do not covet. This week, ask the Lord to show you if you are coveting things that other people have. And if you are, then you have a choice to make. If you want to live life well, choose to stop coveting what others have. Enjoy what God has given you. Thank him for his blessings to you. Apply this teaching to your life every day for the next week. Now, before I go, I'd like to share a blessing with you from the Old Testament. May the Lord bless and protect you. May the Lord's face radiate with joy because of you. May he be gracious to you, show you his favor, and give you his peace. Number 6, 24 to 26. Until the next time, be the reason someone smiles today.